Ions by Geodesics is a two-voice, 16-step sequencer where each individual voice has eight steps associated with it. The quirk with this sequencer is that the voices can swap sequences based on probability. We can see that here. Both the blue and yellow signals jump between each of these circles. This sequencer looks super cool, and here's what this bad boy can sound like. Each of the sequences is represented as a location on these two circles. The eight step sequences share the first step, which is located here. The yellow sequence will orbit the yellow CV output clockwise, and the blue sequence will orbit the blue CV output anti-clockwise, and this relationship continues if the sequences jump to their counterparts, meaning we get figure eights around both of these orbital centers. The sequences jump based on probability set by this knob here. All the way down is 0%, meaning they will never swap, and all the way up is 100%, meaning they will always swap. These outputs in the middle of the sequence are the control voltage outputs. These output a variable voltage based on the settings of these knobs. The range of the control voltage knobs is set by the button labeled energy. One light is the smallest range, and all lit is the largest. There are two variations that can be altered by this button labeled Planck constant. If the button is off, the value of the CV knob is continuous at plus or minus 1 volt, 5 volts, or 10 volts. If the Planck constant is on, the CV controls are chromatic, meaning they lock to semitones in the range of 1 octave, 3 octaves, or 5 octaves. These outputs send triggers every time one of the sequences jumps to the other core. This one triggers for yellow, and this one triggers for blue. We can see on the scope that it only triggers once it swaps, so if you want triggers to occur every step of the sequence, you'll have to utilize a separate trigger source. Separating your triggers from your control voltages is a cool technique that you can use with any sequencer, but you're forced to do it with this one. Here's a more syncopated trigger source along with ions, and we get kind of a legato feel. Here are the clock inputs. This is where you connect your clock signal to advance the sequence. We can control both sequences with the same clock by utilizing this input. We can also set different clocks for both blue and yellow by utilizing these local clock inputs. Or we can do both. We just need to cycle this button here labeled state in order to choose which clock input we want. Utilizing both inputs can create some solid polyrhythms. This button labeled Magnetic Clock is a manual sequence advancer, so when you click it, it progresses the sequence by one step. The Quantum Leap button allows the sequences to jump randomly to the other side. Here's an arpeggio without Quantum Leap. And here's the same arpeggio with Quantum Leap. The Uncertainty button allows you to add randomness based on the clock input. A trigger from the local clock will move the sequence forward a random number of steps. Every trigger from the global or magnetic clock will function normally by advancing it one step. Every trigger from the reset button here will place the sequence at a random point, but I can't seem to get this to work on mine properly. It seems just like it always resets at the first step. That's it for this run through of Ions by Geodesics. It's free and you can get it by searching Ions on the VCV Rack library page or by subscribing to Geodesics on the plugins page. If you like this kind of content, you can let me know that by liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. 
If you like free stuff, you can get a lot of it on my Kofi page, including my Bitcrush Dumb sample pack, my BCV Rack cheat sheet, and my patch collection. People have let me know that the Kofi content is pretty good, and I'm happy to provide it all for absolutely free. I hope you have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one.